like your eyebrows. Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou, and today we are going to learn how to tint our own eyebrows. I've gone a couple of times to a salon to have this done, and they have a special kit made for eyebrows or eyelashes, and I learned a couple years ago how to do it myself. Now, I did try some dyes that were meant for your hair on your head. I don't recommend that. They're very toxic smelling and ammonia-like, some of them, and they are not meant to go on your face. After thinking about when you go to Sally Beauty and they have those kits that they actually do use in the salon, I think they're like 25 bucks. There's a couple applications in there. I don't know how many, but I'm sure it's worth it and it's less than the 15 bucks that you would spend at the salon. What I found that I really like and that really works is, and it's gonna be backwards for you, I apologize, is this. It's the Just For Men Mustache and Beard Brush In Color Gel. Hello, I would like to dye your eyebrows. Just in case you haven't noticed my frameless face, I did not put eyebrows on today and I am well overdue for a eyebrow tinting. So I'm gonna show you what's in here and what I do. I know that when I use the dye for your hair on my eyebrow, it took like 30 minutes for it to turn color. Now what comes in this kit is the color base. I've chosen dark brown. I also have a medium brown here, but I prefer the dark, especially for the winter when my hair itself turns darker on its own. And then what else you get in this little kit is a natural color developer. So it's basically dye and developer like you would do for your hair or anything like that. Now this kit comes with a little plastic tray type item and it also comes with a little brush on applicator which I have long since thrown away. But it resembles those flat eyelash or eyebrow brushes with a brush on one side and the comb on the other. What I use is, and you can use anything, you can go to Sephora and go get some of those sample brushes that they give you to try mascara or such on but this is I have my own little version of this that I love like I when I can't find this I go crazy so first I'm going to take the actual color base and put it in the tray so I've taken a little dab of this hair color and I'll show you well here's what it looks like that's just a little dab of color and remember your eyebrows aren't that big so you're not gonna need that much. And then I'm gonna take the developer and put the exact same amount, and that's the instructions. So we've got the color and the developer, very exciting. Little pea size, squished pea. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just mix those two with my actual brush. So when they're nice and mixed together, spread all over the place, I'm just gonna brush it. Ooh, I wanna give you a tip first. Now here's a good tip before you actually start applying the dye is you take some Vaseline, which is down here, but I'm not gonna show you the jar. You know what it looks like, because <laughs> it's almost empty. Anyway, so a little Vaseline on your Q-tip and what you wanna do is go around your eyebrows. You can even make the shape of your eyebrows that you want with the Vaseline on the outside. So I will put it on the top and I will put it here and on the bottom of my eyebrows. And then you want to take the goo on your mascara brush. Look, can you see it? And just brush it, brush it on kind of thick. And of course I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I've applied the dye to both eyebrows and as you can see this one's already darker than this one so it's working already to me the fact that it's five minutes is very exciting i always seem to do one eyebrow much better than the other but that what that only means is it's on less of my skin i'm not the neatest person in the world and as a little disclaimer i'm not recommending this method of eyebrow tinting. I am merely stating that it is fabulous for me and it could be for other people, who knows? 
and every once in a while I'll sweep over it with my gooey brush. So once you're done, if you have a reusable mascara or eyebrow brush such as these, wash it. Don't leave the dye on there. That would be silly. And I'm just going to hang out for five minutes and show you how I rinse this off. Almost done. Do you see me walking away? See me? See me in my half pajamas? This is the toilet room where the garbage is located. She's private in there. I'm still waiting for my eyebrows. I really can only whistle inward. I'm not very talented. Okay, you guys, we are now at the point where my husband starts to make fun of me and give me one of these, whatever Groucho Marx says. He's very clever. <laughs> it's funny, babe, is what I say. But yeah, very Groucho Marx-esque. What I do, but you can take like a paper towel or something that you don't want to ruin. But I take my daughter's Nemo washcloth because she'll never know and I wet it and you can also just wash your face but I like to wipe it gently to make sure that I don't get it all over the place just put your finger and wipe it away I got it on Nemo's eye that's all right he'll be okay and then just wipe it away and then the other side I'm just taking clean parts of the washcloth and it really shows you where your eyebrows are. So here we have all of the dye washed off of my eyebrows. So now I'm just going to take this same brush that I applied the dye with all cleaned off and just brush my eyebrows just to show you the end result. And of course I'm going to fill in my brows, but this gives me a good dark base to work with. So next what I would do is take a little bit of my dark eyebrow powder and just fill in the spaces that the hair does not cover and make it an even eyebrow. And of course I got a little much on this side, but that's okay. It will work itself out as everything usually does. So that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And guess what, guess what, guess what? So I've lived here for, I don't know, eight years? Yeah, eight, nine. I've lived here for nine years. And we have the Castle Rock outlets here. Huge, huge. And I don't often go because outlets are okay. I, I have been a handful of times, but I found out I'm lecturing you guys. I have found out that the cosmetics company store is there and they carry all Estee Lauder products. So you're going to find Mac, Bobby Brown. I think they have Smashbox. Mm -hmm, I do. It's about 20 to 30% off the retail price of these cosmetics. So we'll see what comes out of that. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this video on how to tint your own brows. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I will see you what tomorrow probably with some something juicy. Okay. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, give it a like or comment down below. I'd love to hear anything you've got to say, unless it's mean. Just kidding. Means good. Do it. Okay. Bye you guys. Thank you. You know what I find funny is I, I take more time and care getting ready to go out with my girlfriend.